Do you think of yourself as a hero? Mm -mm. No. Yesterday's scores will not win today's ball games. If the Padres go out and win on Tuesday, and they've got a game on Thursday, and when they hit the field, they say, well, you know what, folks, we won Tuesday. So <clears throat> the fans will say, but today's Thursday. You see? So the, my actions at the intersection of Florence and Normandy will not hold me today in the face of a different injustice, of a new injustice, in the face of new victims and new perpetrators and new mobs and new bystanders, you see. Heroism is, is commitment, it's steadfast, it's, it's, it's ongoing. Perhaps all that's required to rush into the midst of a mob is a rush of adrenaline. I have a firefighter friend named Newman. I asked Newman one time, what requires greater, which requires greater courage? Rushing into a burning building or taking care of your family one day at a time? He said, oh, most certainly taking care of my family. And he was the one who said rushing into a burning building may require some degree of skill, but primarily it's about a rush of, a rush of adrenaline. But the compassion that is required as a husband, a wife, a father, friend, teacher, disciplinary, that, my friend, is where the struggle is. When you want to go bowling, you know, but, but it's, it's, it's a bizarre night at the kids' grade school, <laughs> you know. But this is your big bowling night. What do I do? You know, do I go and be with this child who will probably not remember this, you know, or do I go bowling? That is where our heroism comes in, our willingness to commit. So 